Holliday. I am the Artistic Director of Auburn Area Community Theater. I have been with Auburn Act since 2003 when a bunch of uh, local people decided we wanted to get together and start something new and see if we could make it work. That was 11 years ago and 36 productions ago. We do two shows with grown-ups. They might have kids in them, but they're primarily for the grown-ups. Then we do a show for kids between 5 and 12. We do a show for kids between 7 and 18. A lot of times we'll have um, almost 100 kids come and audition for a single children's production. 100 kids auditioning for 40 roles. So that's pretty extraordinary. Hi, my name is Melanie Brown and I am the Children's Director for Auburn Area Community Theater. Currently we are preparing for our fall show with um, children between the ages 5 and 12. This show is called Never Cry Wolf. It's based off of the story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf, an Aesop fable that I think most people are familiar with. And it is set in ancient Greece with a few modern twists, so it's kind of fun and a little bit funny. As we're preparing for the show, there are so many people that are involved. We have choreographers, musical director, set designer, costumers, and the, not to mention all the parents who have to help. All told, when we're done with the show, well over 100 people will have been involved and hour, hundreds and hundreds of hours of community service will be put in to be able to make this production actually happen. We actually don't have all 40 kids there all the time, but when they're there, we work, we've been spending a lot of time working on character development and having them figure out who their character is and what is their relationship with each other and why are these things important to them? And it's been really fun to see them actually to do this. Um, it's also been fun um, you getting our sheep ready to perform. We've had to, you wouldn't think it would be hard to learn how to be a sheep, but we've had to learn how to crawl around on all fours and then magically transform into dancing sheep on our two feet. We've had to decide how high the grass is so they don't just go upside down on the stage to eat, which is what they were doing. We had to determine that it was not polite for them to chew their hay loudly and that that would not make the play more interesting, but in fact, it's always rude to chomp your food, whether you were a sheep or a person. Um, so funny little things that you wouldn't even think about that we've had to talk about to get ready for the show. On Saturdays, we do everything like singing, practicing lines, and dancing. In rehearsals, we practice the songs that we're going to sing in the play, and we practice all the scenes. And we also practice what we're going to do with our props. We usually go over our lines, and we do a lot of singing and dancing, and it's really fun.
have a reputation for learning and supporting each other and nurturing our volunteers. And we have a goal to, to make sure that everyone that gets involved with Auburn Act is having a good time, learning something, uh, expressing their creativity, and in a way that doesn't, um, doesn't cause them to lose time, too much time with their family or their schoolwork. Auburn Area Community Theater has a Facebook page, and if you want to get involved, come to auditions. And if you don't want to be on stage, that's still a good time to meet people, say hello, and tell them what you might be interested in. And we need people to go to the thrift stores and shop for props, make costumes. Uh, we need people to paint and design the sets and uh, be actors. But the best way to get in touch with us is emailing info at auburnact.org or find us on the Facebook page and say, hey, what's going on?